obviously a great athlete. Yeah, a lot. I mean, he's a phenomenal athlete. Um, you know, All-American in track in college and, and – uh, and so to get him in the sixth round, man, we're we're excited. A lot of lot of tools to work with, and um, a lot of upside. So I uh, can't wait to get get started with him. Yeah, obviously, Elizabeth and, and you're able to meet with him. What what was that like, and how important was that to get familiar? Yeah, very important. Great visit. Uh, he flew in. We had dinner together. Um, just talked about life. Talked about um, his goals. What he wanted to achieve in the NFL. Um, he asked me a lot of questions, which, um, you know, for a for a prospect, it kind of raises your antenna like, man, this guy is, is is dialed in. And he was asking me questions, how can I get him better and so forth. So um, great visit. Uh, after that visit really showed the type of person he is, um, the type of player he is. Just get just just to get to know the guy. It, it was a good visit and um, to get him in the sixth round. We're excited. Yeah, very surprised, very surprised. We had him a lot higher um, just based on his athleticism, his traits. And so um, for him to fall, we're, we're glad. Kind of team captain. I mean, that speaks volumes. Yeah, yeah. yeah, team captain. He went to Princeton, so smart, intelligent, um, can process well. Um, so I think he can, he can learn all three positions, X, Z, and play in the slot. Um, obviously, with his body type, he'll be able to add some some uh, reps at, on special teams as well. And so, um, you know, we're we are uh, happy to have him, and we think uh, he'll he'll do a good job here. Talked about him being a track and field athlete, him being a hip athlete. How much did that really factor into just how much he stood out to you guys? Just shows his overall athleticism, and um, he's able to handle. That's a that's a tough uh, sport and a tough event. So. Um, for him to be able to do that just shows his toughness, mental toughness. Um, he can he can run all for, run for days, um, and so and you got to be a competitor to compete in that type of uh, event. So all those things just make him a, a great prospect. How raw, how raw is he as a receiver? I mean, he was productive last year, obviously. How raw is he? Yeah, more just reps. You know, going against elite competition. Uh, he went. He played in the Senior Bowl. So he got those reps. He got that that feel of of going against elite competition at the Senior Bowl and did a good job. And so, you know, you don't see a lot of press in in the league he's in, uh, especially to the caliber here in the NFL. So just little things um, that that'll take time for him to get used to. But uh, I believe he's going to be a quick learner, quick study. Um, he wants to be great, and so that's that's what you ask for in a young man. He didn't practice year round with football, right? So is that a guy where you could see improvement early on? Since you know now he's really dedicated. Definitely, definitely. That's that's where the upside comes into play when he when he has a full off season as a football player and goes through the weight program and 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 solely focuses on football. You know, the sky's the limit for him. What made you guys want to add more speed specifically this off season with you know, him and Andrew? Yeah, just depth. Uh, you know, we we played in the AFC Championship game and 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 TB got hurt and and Trenton stepped in and then you look back and you know if something happens to him, who who else do you have? So. You just want to add depth, competition, um, and, and those guys will come in and compete and, and make our room better. And so, uh, and then we wanted guys that had versatility, that could play outside, could play inside, could help on special teams. Uh, you know, I think anybody, the more you can do in this league, the better. And so all, we feel like those two guys can, can play multiple positions. Uh, he's a little bigger, um, but they're both good football players. Um, both catch the ball well. Um, so it's just get them in, work with them, um, throw a lot at them. You know, I'm going to throw the whole playbook at them, make sure they learn X, Z, and F. And then as we get going, just see what they, uh, what they excel best, what role they excel best in this first year and go from there. How do you judge his processing? Um, well, I go through an install. I'll install some of our, our some of our formations, some of our plays. Give him a couple minutes to look over his notes, and then I'll quiz him and just see how well, how fast he processes. Um, and the one thing I told all the guys, and I met with most of the, the the receiver prospects, was that if we if we take you and we draft you or we sign you as a free agent, the first thing I'm gonna do is is you're gonna get in that playbook and you're gonna learn the playbook so that when you get on the field you can. You can play. Uh, you know, if you don't know the plays, you don't know what to do. You're not going to be able to play fast. And so, 
Um, you know, I've already installed to both of those guys. I've already installed some of the playbook to them. So they've got them in their notes and, and, uh, and they can go back and look at it over the next few days. And then Monday, we're going to hit the ground running uh, with the playbook so they, they know what to do. One of the knocks that was written about them, and they're always trying to find something mm -hmm. negative about guys, is that he traps it, uses his body. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're satisfied that he uses his hands well enough? I am. I am. Um, you know, you can always improve on different things, and that's that's one of the things he can improve on. But to me, you just got to you need to catch the ball. So there's times when you need a body catch it. And, and we work on that as receivers. We work on there's times when it's, it's more advantageous to use your body. And so, you know, we'll get them in here and I'll see exactly the areas of, of weakness and what I need to work on and, and we'll, we'll go to work. Is he somebody that can go up at the, the apex and compete for a ball? Definitely. That's what he did. That's what he does well. Um, I think if you watch the senior bowl practices and, you know, that's what he did well in the one on ones. And, and that's kind of what we do, you know, T. Higgins and Jamar. They win those one-on-one -on -one contested outside throws, and and uh, you know they use their their size and their 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 height to their advantage, and and I th feel like he can do the same. Aside from like the height difference between him and Charlie Jones, what do you feel like is one trait or multiple traits that both of them have in common together? Together, multiple traits. Um, I think they're both explosive. Uh, they're explosive receivers. They can they can put pressure uh, on the, on the secondary on the on the corner. They come off the ball well, and so anytime you have that type of speed and, and ability to threaten defenders, then you should be able to create some separation. Right. How fun is it for you to have to get somebody with these kind of athletic skills that's really kind of like you know the coach's dream of the putty that you can mold a little bit? And do you have experience with somebody in the past you think of that you kind of done something similar with? That's my job. My job is to develop, whether it's a first-round pick, a, a six-round pick, a free agent. I treat them all the same. When they get here, you're going to learn the playbook, and we're going to go out there and we're going to work. We're going to learn and, and dev develop fundamentals. And uh, the expectations don't change. Uh, you know, I expect him to come in, both of those guys, him and Charlie, to come in and, and uh, learn the playbook when they get on the field to produce. And so yeah, it, it's a challenge, um, but you want, a guy that's, you want a guy that's willing to work, and, and he's willing to work. He's willing to put in the work. He knows what, how good he wants to be, and so um, that's always fun to have a guy that uh, is ready to work. And then, out of curiosity, how many receivers come in on a visit, like this, this visit period here? Like uh, we had about four or five. Yeah. Four or five, so. You typically do the full, like, dinner experience? Is that pretty standard? Yeah, well, pretty standard. You have some type of dinner with them, um, and then they'll come up in the office during the day, and you'll meet with them, talk ball, talk life, get to know them. Um, see how they process, see how well they do on the board, if they can handle this offense, so to speak. And you just try to get a feel for uh, you know, my speed dating a little bit. You try to, as fast as you can, you kind of try to get to know them as much as you can. And, and, uh, and so it was a good, it was a good process. You mentioned the senior bowl for a guy like him, and you're from Princeton. Was this a, seeing him at that practice week? Was that important for you guys to see how he competed? Against yeah, it was. It was. You want to see how those guys compete against the best of the best. And, um, you know, he had some good moments. He had some not so good moments, but the, the thing I took from it was that he competed, and uh, and that's what you want. You want a guy that's gonna put in the work and the effort and and uh, and compete, and that's what he did. You mentioned his explosiveness. He put his foot in the ground and burst. Can he sink his hips? He get in and out of cuts pretty well. Right? Yes, yeah, that's some of the things we're gonna work on. It's just change of direction, getting it out of his breaks, um, just the techniques of of being a polished route runner. You know, in, in, in college, a lot of most a lot of programs, you're not asked to run the entire NFL route tree. So that's that's always an adjustment for a new um, uh, for a rookie coming in. And so, uh, you know, we'll get to work as soon as we can and, and clean up some of those issues and get them ready to go. You mentioned him raising your antenna with the questions. Was it the volume of the questions or was it the specific things he was asking? Uh, both, both. He you know, he wanted to know you know, how I can get him better, um, how I saw him, what were some of the strengths, what were some of his weaknesses, how I can help those weaknesses, how I can strengthen those weaknesses. And so um, just to have that mindset to, hey, I'm going to ask the coach some questions um, was pretty impressive. You guys said before, like, you have, like, you know, backups. You know, there's, like, depth receivers with, like, one or two really interesting traits that they're focused in on as a strength. Like, what does that do for you when you guys have options with those strengths? And what do you kind of, like, that uh, Man, the more depth you have, then you're less worried about, you know, the, the guys in, ahead. So, you know, we, we got the three best receivers in the league. 
But if something happens, it's a long season, you know, it, it, to, to go through a whole season without any injuries is, is, is not very common. So you want to make sure you have guys that if something does happen, we got other guys that can step in and, and produce at the, at the high level that, that the, the starters do. And so um, that's the mindset of a coach. When you develop a guy, you're not developing or you're number four, you're number five. No, we're all number, we're all starters. So that when your number's called, you're able to step in and, and Joe doesn't have to worry about, well, is this guy going to catch the ball? Is he going to run the right route? If you're in and you're playing, then we have confidence you're going you're gonna to get the job done. What, what start would I make? It was like the, the guys you have on the depth chart, like the non-starters have like a, like a specific strength. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, Trent's good at specific things. Mm -hmm. Like what makes you like a guy with like a very specific strength, the guys you have in those roles? What do I like about it? What do you like about like that approach of getting someone who's really good at not one thing, but really has something? Well, you know, you can, you know, that's what you're going to put him in that situation. So if a guy has good hands, you're going to, you know, put him in situations, catch the ball. If he's a good route runner, or explosive, he's a vertical threat, then you're going to highlight their strengths. And so, um, you know, to play in this league, you got to have, you got to have some traits. You got to have some strengths. If you don't have any strengths, you're not going to play. So we try to, you know, highlight those guys' strengths. And when they get in the game, put them in situations to, that they can go be successful. He did. He did. Purdue, um, Braum, they, they, they ran an NFL style um, offense. And so we're excited that he'll be able to come in. He probably won't miss a beat in terms of route running. Between playing in the Ivy League and training on the pole vault and the shot put, the events there in the heptathlon, how much of this is a lottery ticket where you know, we can bring out the best in this guy we could really have? Yeah, it really is. I mean, we're, that's why we're we're excited upstairs to to have a guy like this um, with so many so much upside, the traits, physical tools, um, and then he's just a he's a good kid and a, and a hard worker. And so the sky's the limit, and we're going to bring it out of him. And and uh, I think we've got a a, a special pl a special player. Uh, not right off the top of my head. Um, you know, give me a couple of days to think about it, but I know he's, you know, he's got all the traits and measurables. And so we're excited about that. Uh, we go to Ruth Chris. So you get, you get a little, you get a little fat going there all the time, but, uh, I got to work out, stay in shape. But, uh, Ruth Chris is our go-to.